is still really part of the Foul River. Uh, Falmouth Harbour, you're looking down at Falmouth Harbour somewhere, it's behind my shoulder. I've just left a place called Myla Harbour, which is maybe what you're looking at. Uh, the interesting thing, well, one interesting thing about Carrick Roads is that in uh, June 6, 1944, it was part of the place where of embarkation of the United States 29th Infantry um, Regiment and they were on their way to D-Dag to Oma, Omaha Beach on the second wave. So the first wave left the day before arrived at Omaha Beach on the 6th of June. There's seven and a half thousand lads here in uh, the Fowl and the Helford. They went on the second day so their experience was probably a little less horrendous by a long way than the guys who went on the first day. But there were seven and a half thousand of these lads living here. And I just wonder what they made of it, you know? There are American lads, they're like 20 something, 19, 20, early 20s. Probably never left their town or their state. And they're in this place, which is a beautiful place. Absolutely stunning place. What I'm going to do is, today is take you to see one of the embarkation points, a place called Turnaware. And we'll look at a little bit of one of the old embarkation docks. It's one of the old dolphin docks. There's a little bit of it left and a little bit of the infrastructure left. I'll take you and have a look at that. This thing is what remains of the embarkation dock at Turnaway. Um, there's probably quite a lot more to it in those days. And look, someone's put a memorial there, look. So, remember these were Americans who were leaving from here. Um, you can see there's some um, tarmac and some other constructions that we use to supply the ships to get them out uh, from this point. This road was used to supply the embarkation ships. So there are 33 that left from here. And then you can, you can see again a little bit of the old dolphin dock. See that it's at the same level as um, the concrete that we're standing on. So that would have been a, like a dock, that, a jetty that would uh, have gone out into the water right there. Um, in many cases, a lot of the ammunition and supplies were stashed in trees like this. And we'll never know for sure which ones or where they were because it was obviously a secret where they went. And there were very few photographs of that time as well. So although it was a massive uh, kind of military activity, there's very little record of it because obviously it was a secret. So we're walking up the hill, up to Turnaway, and you'd have had, just think about it, it might be there. You'd have had queues, lines of American uh, infantrymen lined up here with their gear, ready to go to who knows what, to Omaha Beach, a day after their comrades went for the first day, and the first day was quite, um, quite bloody. Second day, much, much less so, because the, the beach had been gained by that point. But they would have been lined all the way up here, waiting to get onto their embarkation boat. 